Hey, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to look at Adobe Illustrator and we're going to look at your blend tool here. You can see the shortcut for your blend tool is W. Uh, I'll just show you some examples of what you can get using this tool. I just made three tiny examples here. It's basically very simple. In this image, I've just the only thing I've done is made two circles. Blend tool has taken care of the rest. In this is just two lines I've drawn using the pen tool. And in this one, it's just two squares and the blend tool has done the rest. So I'll just show you how this works. Make a line, one I've colored blue, the other I'm coloring, oh uh, yeah, let's just, let's make it magenta. Or uh, you can shape it however you want, arrange it however you want, and select both. Now when you go into your blend tool, just double click on the blend tool, you get your options here. You have a smooth color, specified steps and specified distances. So in smooth color, you basically get like a gradient from blue to magenta. And specified steps, you get how many ever more lines joining these. So let's, let's say 25 lines, say OK. Now select one point of the blue line and one point of your red line and that's it the blend tool does the rest you see here it gives you all your 25 lines going from blue to magenta now we can also select the top part of the blue line and the bottom part of the red line and gives you different outcomes so basically just play around with this it's a really powerful tool and it's really simple to use. I'll just show you what happens with your smooth color. Select blue, select the red line, and that's it. You get this gradient kind of effect that blends your blue and magenta. And let's check your specified distance. Let's keep it two points. So here it basically just fills up with number of lines with two points space in between each. It's really simple, just keep practicing. I'll just show you one with squares. Let's make two squares. One magenta, one black. Select both. Go into specified steps. So let's just say 25. Click on one point. Click on the other. Boom. It's as simple as that. I can control Z. You can click on the other point and click on this and see what happens. It's really cool. And it's very simple, so just keep practicing and get the hang of it. And in our previous video, we saw the 3D mapping. Or you can also use an image, your art form like this, to 3D map. Just go into symbols, add whatever you want. Open up your ellipse tool. Like I said in the previous video, you're just you're gonna use your 3D revolve effect, so you just need half your circle. Say 3D revolve map art. Shade artwork, invisible geometry. Scale to fit. Say okay.
So that's it. Here we've combined a blend tool and a 3D mapping. I've made, a, I've made another tutorial on 3D mapping. You can check that out if you haven't already. And that's it. It's just so simple. All you need is a little practice. All these are just basic. Here it's just two circles. Here it's two lines. And here it's two squares. That's it. And in this I've just mapped my symbol, which is this, onto your circle. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe for more.